Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at old Chinese wrestling, the techniques that were seen in these old footage like this one here from 1993, but not in today's competition. I believe there's many rule sets, there is point systems, there is in the old days like best two out of three and leg grabbing and so on and even standing locks. So we're going to look at some of them, not all of them obviously, but uh this demonstration shows a lot of good techniques that you don't see in today's uh, Chinese wrestling. So uh, the first one is going to be that first we need to understand their leg grabbing system. Today is from this technique, I believe, the inner reap where you can actually grab the leg to support it. So in judo, it is this o uchi gari. So o uchi gari is the major inner reap uh, in the old days back previously uh, before 2010 where you can actually grab the leg uh, when you are going for it in order to support the throw so either you grab the leg you are reaping or the far leg so they won't have anything to stand on anymore this next one is absolutely amazing so he grabs the skirt and the arm on one side so let's go of the skirt i believe and then grabs the the leg from the outside and then dumps forward as he is i believe supported by the other arm or grabbing the other arm so it's like a fireman's carry but grabbing from the outside instead of between the legs so this is very reminiscent of mark housinga's Kata Guruma. He became so efficient at this technique that he developed his own variation, which is this one. So instead of grabbing between the legs, he goes through and grabs outside of the thigh while putting his leg between theirs and picking up on his back and shoulders and just dumping forward. Absolutely devastating. It might look too fancy as he put it, but he made it work in competition as you see here so full control and full power so all judo was all about control technique and giving everyone a good show as you see here with a front flip this time it can be dangerous for sure but this type of technique is what made judo so picturesque so even towards the end of his career he still made it work so as he was trying to hook from the inside of the leg in order to avoid the throw he releases his leg and performs this beautiful throw so let's see it here he's grabbing the pants he hooks the leg gets it free and then throws absolutely beautiful so this next one here it looks like he wanted to lift off the hips while hooking the arm, but instead goes for an ankle pick. So it kind of looks like he wants to load on the hips and here hooking the arm. Maybe he can go to the side like a makikomi throw or like a makikomi setup, but ends up picking up the ankle very much like old uh, jujitsu self-defense. So he kind of looked like he was in this position but more to the center so in makikomi you go to the outside and then hook from the outside of the arm hence the name soto makikomi or outside wrap and then you roll them and a lot of people don't understand this but when you grip this way you're not only controlling the arm but if it's really tight you're also controlling the shoulder so it's a great transition into a pin because pinning in judo it's all about the shoulders so let's see here the old jujitsu self-defense technique so grabs from behind much like we saw and then goes down and picks the ankle so it's more geared towards self-defense you see it also in gracie self-defense instructionals so goes down makes himself stable and picks up the ankle they will fall immediately so the next one here is classical fireman scary or kata guruma hooks from the inside so this is a demonstration but you can see 
they're showing off good technique from the past. So kata guruma is also banned in judo today, at least this variation. But you can see just how picturesque it was and just how much power, control, and technique it used to have. If you see it in uh, competition, there's just so many close call examples, I would say, how they flip and it was very dangerous, but at the same time, they gave everyone a good show. Um, you can see here, you can dump to the front, you can dump to the back or to the side. So let's see here, you see how he arches his back and his hips in order to get a very big throw with a lot of amplitude and gets them on their back. So this is classic example of old judo. It's really a shame that it is no longer available, at least in competition. So this next one here is really interesting. So someone gets a headlock. So you block the knee with your arm and then from inside their leg, you grab your own wrist, pinning both their legs and then they will simply fall on their face. So you can understand the danger of this. So as they are here, it's great for self-defense, but I'm not sure about uh, competition with a lot of intensity and also pinning their legs and hips with this hold. It's an Ude Garami grip. It's great to see it's not in judo, but it's great to see if you understand a little bit about grappling and how to grip. So this type of grip is very common, but to use it on the legs here in order to get them down is something new to me. So here uh, you see it's Waki Gatame, like an armpit lock. You can do it from the standing. It's dangerous if you dive down for obvious reasons as you leave them no option and with all your weight on their elbow and their wrist as, as well, it's devastating. I believe here Saito broke his arm after this. So it is not an easy thing. So in judo, if you do this type of dive, you're gonna be immediately eliminated and for a very good reason. Here, the wrist was absolutely destroyed. Look at the arm. So, if you have anything else to add, or if you know a little bit more about the old rules of Chinese wrestling, please uh, share them down below in the comments and also consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content uh, only. I post there about once a week and also it will help me keep this content growing and going. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.